Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd just do a quick video for you today. Seeing as I'm already out in the woods, um, I've brought my tarp with me. Now the weather looks pretty good today, I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, but I always like practicing sort of putting up and taking down a tarp in the good weather just to make sure that I'm sort of well practiced enough for if it does suddenly turn I can get it up fairly quickly and easily. Um, so what I wanted to show you today was sort of my technique for putting up a small tarp just to shelter you from the elements if you need to. Um, I've got I've got here, take this out of the bag actually, um, I've got here just a bundle of paracord with a very small mini carabiner on the end of it um, and in my pocket here I've got one of these. Now you may have seen these before, um, this is made by a company called Night Eyes who are fairly well known um, but you know you can get aftermarket brands for a lot cheaper, these are just the ones I happen to have. Um, and these are sort of paracord fasteners, um, they're used for guy lines and various other things and I find they work really really well for things like ridge lines um, and what I tend to use is what's known as a continuous ridge line that means that I've got you know a long amount of cord I think this is about 50 feet worth of cord here uh, maybe 25 actually thinking about it um, but it just means that I can I've got enough cord so I've got plenty of options between trees that are close together trees that are further apart um, and what I do I just use as much or as little of this as I need um, and then it gets me that gets me going gets my tarp set up wherever I need it um, so behind me here I've got this tree and this one that's what I'm going to be running my tarp between and as I say I don't really need it I don't need the shelter I'm just going to do it for you know more for the sake of doing it um, so you guys can see and I can get a bit of practice in so what I'll do let me bring you close up to the first tree first I'll show you how I connect the first um, sort of part of this cord I'll run it across show you how I do the second connection and we'll go from there Right then guys, so I'm going to start off up here and as you can see I've got a figure eight with a bite with my little carabiner and it really is as simple as running it round the tree, clipping it on and that is the first part of my ridge line up. It's really that simple and that quick. Now what I'll do, let me move the camera a bit, I'll run the cord to the other tree and then I'll show you how we're going to connect this. Right then guys, so here's the remainder of my cord. Here is my little night eyes connector. And what I want to do is take this side of the rope. So this is the, um, this is the uh, non-working end. And you must form a little bite. Push that through the loop of your connector. I probably need to look myself a little bit more slack here. Hang on. And then you, let me bring this a bit in fact, you know what? Let me do this a bit closer for you. So what you do is you take a bite. That goes through... If I get that right way around. Put it through the loop of your connector. Pull it through over the top. And then pull it tight. Um, that allows me to lock this in place wherever I want across this line. Um, and again, I mean, I've made it a little bit too long. But in theory this would be on the other side and then what you can do is you can loop your rope in pull it like that if I just bring the camera a little bit closer for you and what it does is it just locks your line in place um, and that's really really useful you can do it really quickly I mean I'm being a little bit fiddly because I'm trying to do this on camera here um, but if I just take this out and put it on the side it's supposed to go on it's going to be here Flip that round, lock it in like so, and then as I bring this cord round, I can pull this really, really tight. Now these are plastic. I think they do metal versions as well, but plastic's fine. Um, you're going to break this before you break your paracord. I'll almost guarantee it, and you can give it a really good yank. Get your cord in that little bit first, twist it round, and lock it in. And that is going nowhere. Um, so what I'll do, if I just bring that a bit closer, so hopefully now you can see how that's all locked in. 
So the last thing to do is to get the tarp on there and what I tend to do is I will leave the centre of one side of the tarp just sticking out here like this so that I can easily clip it on. Um, and what I'll do, I'll do this from a distance. Now all I'm going to do is connect this to the carabiner that's on this side over here. Um, I like to keep my tarp as close as I can to one end of a tree um, just in case it starts hammering down you've got a bit more protection. So that's the tarp up um, and you may be wondering how I'm going to secure up on this end um, and for that I'm going to be using a Prusik knot um, and what I'll do if I just grab that now I'll bring the camera closer and just show you how that works really quickly. Now what I've got here guys is a Prusik, um, this is just a piece of cord that's been tied together with two fisherman's knots to form a nice loop and what you do is you put that around your paracord you loop it under and through itself once, twice, you can do it three times, I tend not to bother, and then you take this end here and just poke it through your loop. Now you can then bring that up, dress it up a little bit, tidy it up, and there you have a Prusik knot. Now that will slide freely up and down this cord, no problem, um, but if, if I tighten it and try and pull it one direction um, and again same size cord you do get a little bit less friction than you want but generally this is fine so I can pull that quite tightly more certainly a lot more so than this tarp is going to do. Um, now I've also made a fatal schoolboy error today um, I have forgotten my other carabiner um, so I figured this would be a good example to give you a little tip on how you can get away with that if you're rigging up a tarp here is just a little stick I am going to poke that through the tail end tab of my tarp. Bear with me while I try and get this open. It's a little bit fiddly on camera. And I'm just going to poke the stick through. Hang on, where are we? Like so. I can then connect that into my Prusik. Like so. And then pull it out. And now I've got a nicely tensioned tarp. So if I just bring the camera back a little bit, see where we are. So there's my tarp, that's now set up. I've got obviously got a couple of tie outs that I can do which I'll do in a second um, and I'll, I'll do that on camera for you so you can see what it is I'm doing but essentially I'm just going to make a couple of little pegs. I'm going to pull out my little tie outs um, and get this tarp put together. Right then guys, well that's how I set up my tarp. Um, I obviously accidentally forgot one of my carabiners, so it's actually quite useful to show you how I would deal with that out in the field. And the fact that, you know, it's no real big deal. You just get a little twig, you stick it through the loop of your tarp, you put it onto your Prusik, um, and away you go. Now, one other thing I did want to show you, and if I just bring the camera over here, um, what I did also forget to bring apparently was one of my other or my last guy line um, that's not a huge problem in and of itself because what I can do I can still fit myself under here and if I just turn the camera around hopefully there you can see even with this one corner not pegged out and I, I've got plenty of spare cord you know I could easily make a guy line but you know I don't need this shelter today so I'm not going to bother I know exactly where at home my guy line is. I remember taking it out, checking them last night, and I left one on the side. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but, you know, if I was sheltering from the rain today, you know, this shelter would be perfectly fine. Um, I, even with that corner, I could come to this side here um, and, and, you know, just get under this bit. I'll get my kit in here, get myself, my camera, you know, and it really just does, you know, is there to keep me dry. 
um, you know, this is a small shelter. I've pitched it pretty, uh, pretty low, um, and that's what I tend to do. I like having my shelters low down. Um, you know, in the UK, you know, when we get wind, uh, sorry, when we get rain, we tend to get wind, um, and you know, it does drive in from the sides. Very rarely does the rain come straight down. So I like to have my shelter quite low to the ground, just so that it protects me that little bit more.